quick video here courtesy of an Instagram account called Music Connoisseur, which is not spelt the right way, but remove. And it's a clip taken from the ZZ Mill show, which I don't think, which is really strange to me personally, because I feel like this should be common sense. But for some reason, this is really sort of captures people's imagination. So far, it's got 50,000 views and everyone seems to really resonate with the message. But I can't understand why, because this seems like common sense to me. And I also feel like if you think this way, it probably says more about you than anything that you'd be sitting there and legitimately thinking that you should have your life in order by the age of 25 or under is legitimately insane you might get some you might get thoughts of or feelings of envy um or somewhat fomo when you're seeing people that you're your age out there enjoying their lives doing things that you would wish and hope that you could do or afford to do that's one thing but to legitimately think that you should have your life in order like in terms of a job relationship a good friendship circle by the age of 25 is legitimately insane i don't think most people have that way of thinking i think unless maybe you work in like the entertainment industry or you want to be an influencer or you want to work or you want to be a public figure of some sort or whatever it may be or a content creator maybe you might have that kind of thing in the back of your head like oh if you see a kid has, that has a youtube account and he has like two million fucking subs or something maybe that might make you feel bad about your account that you only have two but i also don't think most people think that anyway because that's a bit of an anomaly like the kid's reviewing toys he's 10 years old he's cute as a button the reviews are probably uh, probably really highly produced by a, an external production company whatever and there's reasons why people are where they are but it doesn't necessarily mean because that person's got two million that somehow your two is insignificant and doesn't matter it just means you're in different journeys but yeah i find this clip really insane it's a bit common sense it didn't make any sense but it's a bit it's common sense and kind of point out the obvious but people seem to enjoy it so i'm going to play it for you and then hopefully you can kind of see where i'm coming from in terms of this being a bit of a duh moment i remember when i turned 25 i had like this mid quarter life crisis right and i know genuinely and i would cry on the i remember one oh, wow. time i broke down on the bus because i genuinely didn't know what i was doing with my life i was like turning 25 i thought i was going to be halle berry it wasn't happening and I was like, I went to drama school, I did all of these things that I thought was gonna like be, I was gonna be this person. It wasn't happening. I was working in a job that I wasn't happy with really. Mm. And I just didn't know what to do. And now when I look back at 33, because I'm still young, like yeah, yeah. the thing is, even though socials will make you feel like you're getting older, yeah, even yeah. at 25, the way you're speaking is almost like you're hitting 40. Like <laughs> I found myself now and I've gone through all these things. <laughs> like, bro, you're still 25. Like you've yeah, still got all yeah, this yeah, time no, to like live. I agree, I agree. But socials and so, like the way the world is moving, it makes us all feel we're older than we actually are. Yeah, yeah, but when yeah, I look yeah. back at me at 25 as a 33 year old, I'm like, wow, like I wish I just enjoyed my time as a 25 year old or a 23 year old or whatever. And it was, and I just lived in that moment. Do you get what yeah, I'm saying? Because I you look back and you think, oh my God, I actually, I didn't know who I was at 25 and I'm glad I didn't know who I was because I got to experiment. I got to yeah, figure yeah, it out, yeah, do definitely. different things. Okay, mm. I traveled and I did all these different things. So you've still got loads of time. Yeah, I believe Loads so. and loads of time, but so. it's good. It's now, the one thing that I would maybe give her a point on is that maybe nowadays, maybe kids do sound a little bit too mature for their own good. But I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I think nowadays, because of how, how would you say? Because of how professional everything is, like from even from to being an influencer, right? Things are, things, it's professional. I'm sure there's guides out there that tell you how to like, up, how to take pictures, how to write your captions, when to upload, um, what type of content calendar to have, how to reach out to sponsors, what deals to sign, how to structure your deals, what manager to sign to, what agents to sign to. People approach things in a very professional manner. Like there's probably kids out there who are legitimately like 10 years old who are like, yeah, my job, I want to be a vlogger. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to have a content house. I want to you know, start a boxing promotion thing, whatever it may be. There's probably kids out there who have those kind of ambitions. So if they have that kind of ambition and it's a very clear defined goal in a very professional kind of industry, of course, your kind of actions and the way you speak are going to, should be mirroring what you're trying to basically achieve or should be maybe trying to get you closer to what you're trying to achieve. It makes complete sense. So I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing in that regard. But I also don't think that the kids at that age when they're 25 are legitimately sitting there thinking, oh, because I see this guy online or on TV who's smashing it and driving a Bentley and dating all these exotic women, 
and going to all these far flung places that it somehow means that me working in a you know in this kind of uh pack picking and packing job in some warehouse in the middle of Ilford is somehow insignificant no it's just a part of your journey and it's also a different journey and it's also doesn't demean the fact that people having regular jobs is also something to be heralded because I feel like sometimes there's too much onus I feel like placed on having these sort of like fun content jobs and not enough onus placed on people just living and existing and having the ability to pay their bills go on a holiday or two go out for a couple of meals uh, be able to buy themselves a pair of trainers take out their parents for something to eat give their mum some money for bills like all those things are amazing if you're able to do that it's really an achievement like I can say for myself like you know it took me ages bloody ages ages to get my first job my first actual job it took me so long to get and i only got the job because of my dad's friend who happened to be a janitor at a flipping bowling alley ended up putting in a good word for me and i ended up working at this place called hollywood bowl right and i was flipping serving chicken nuggets and and making fucking hot dogs and stuff and cooking chips and stuff and i couldn't cook for stuff and again it's not cooking i couldn't cook for shit and I know it's not cooking, but for somebody that couldn't even make an egg to go to somewhere where I'm suddenly now frying chips and making nuggets and making hot dogs and all that good stuff, that was a big step for me, especially because it was a workplace too. I had to be there at a certain time. I had to work with a team, I had interpersonal skills, all that self-motivation because I was legitimately doing it on my own. But it really was a... Um, a liberating and freeing experience because it finally allowed me to have my own pocket money because I never had my own pocket money money I always had to kind of ask my parents and growing up my, you know we didn't really have that much money and I always felt guilty about asking money for to go out in places or sometimes I wouldn't ask at all and I'll just go to places hungry or with nothing in my pocket and just hope something would work out like loads of stuff happened a lot so to have the ability to just have some money in my pocket to be able to go to a shop and buy myself a pack of crisp or whatever it may be and not have to buy the Tesco value flipping biscuits was a big deal for me a real big deal and I cherished it but it also didn't mean that because I couldn't afford to go to you know Amsterdam for the weekend with my friends that somehow now the job wasn't good enough suddenly it didn't mean that I'll still get FOMO and I still wish I was there but it didn't necessarily equate that my job was, was now irrelevant or insignificant because those guys have better jobs that they can go do other stuff or if my friends have a uh, if my friends had a job where they were mostly working in the industry that they went into kind of work, working professionally going forward it didn't mean because I was working retail that it suddenly kind of you know my job when what I was doing was insignificant no that's not the case it's just a different part of my journey and hopefully I get there in the end but sometimes if you want to stay there just work for working sake like I have friends now even at my big age who are working in retail some of them are just store assistants some of them are supervisors some of them are floor managers and some of them just work on the weekends as kind of extra pay and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever it really isn't and this whole figuring your life out stuff there is nothing really to figure out as long as you have a good circle of friends you have some good relationships you have um um, meaningful things that you do outside of work that should be the basis of a good life especially now in a post-pandemic world I think we basically got to see at the height of the pandemic when we weren't able to even go outside and grab ourselves some chicken nuggets and flipping sorry some chicken wings and chips or we weren't able to go and hug our parents or we weren't able to go and you know shop freely in, sh in flipping supermarkets without having to stand 10 meters behind people we saw that all we need is the bare necessities that we're missing out on, just contact with people, which is why we were going to parks and having coffees and stuff and taking walks and whatnot, because we we're just missing that human connection, human touch. And the moment that freedoms got relaxed, people were running to Brighton, they were going to places in Manchester, Liverpool. It didn't matter if they couldn't go abroad, they just went to go somewhere and hang out with their family and friends to have a good time. And I feel like now in a post-pandemic world, we shouldn't lose sight of that and, and, and kind of forget that the main thing that we all wanted was the ability to just be around our friends and family and live a somewhat quote-unquote good life and that's what we're doing right now right we're living that we're doing that at the moment we're able to kind of you know some of us are able to work from home some of us have a split work from home schedule some of us have you know the ability to maybe work two or three jobs at the time some of us have the ability to maybe have a promotion because people left or people got fired whatever it may be right you're in a much better position probably now than you were before in a pandemic or not or maybe you're clear on where you want to where you want to go if that's the case then just you know adding some bits here and there in terms of being able to have you know meaningful things that you do outside of work improving your relationships personal and romantic that might make things better but this idea that figuring life out is the be all and end all is really redundant i feel like and if anything will end up putting you in a position where you end up being depressed and moody because 
I don't think there's such a thing. Personally, for me, I don't think there is such a thing as figuring your life out. I feel like figuring life out is basically living a somewhat good and honest life, which is somehow doing right by you and your close ones around you. And that should be about it. Everything else should be a bonus. Even if you want to be an influencer or whatever it may be, I don't think the fact that you can't reach 100,000 followers should be something that should kind of, you know, destroy you and mean that life is not meaningful anymore and she's gonna jump off a bridge no it's nice to achieve a goal it's nice to set out you know wanting something and achieve it of course but this idea that your whole life and identity and sort of dreams aspirations should be wrapped around the idea that you're not an influence that, that you you know you haven't reached this influence status that you want to reach or they haven't got that many followers or you haven't got that many views it's just really insane and really redundant and i hope most kids aren't thinking that way now and i don't think they are anyway in general but i did find it really humorous and really laughable that this is somehow capturing everyone's imagination they're like yeah that's so true i get it. i guess like, this is common sense man you shouldn't be thinking that 25 is any age to kind of make it and be successful in any walk of life in general anyway it's usually the exception that people that are successful at that age and the exceptions aren't the rule ever in life ever 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 as long as you're doing something that you enjoy and that you love anyway that should be part of the enjoyment or that should be the, ma the majority of the reason why you get out of bed in the first place it shouldn't be because you're trying to attain some lofty goal and once you don't achieve it suddenly life becomes meaningless that's not how you should go about life in my opinion but again what do i know <laughs>